What's going on guys? Taco here and it is time for a new video. It's our 100th video guys. I cannot believe it. It has been over a year. I know I'm slow. I haven't been upgrading videos as much as I should have but it is our 100th video and for that I wanted to kind of do something a little bit special. Something that um, I kind of wanted to just tell the story of my channel and my Clash of Clans history and all that, but let's pop in real quick and say, let's say hi to YouTube. I'm sorry if the face camera's a little janky, but I wanted to put it on here for this video because I'm going to be more talking than I am going to be clashing. So let's get this going though. Let's, let's say hi to YouTube. There we go. And we're going to hide that for just a second. But anyway, guys, we're going to dive straight into the story. How did I start YouTubing? All that stuff. It's going to be so awesome. But anyways, how did I start YouTubing? That's a good question. Well, you see, it all starts back almost two years ago now. Almost two years ago, I started, or I joined this clan. This clan right here. Let me move my face. I don't know if this is moving it for you, but I moved my face. I joined this clan right here, that one, Bringers of Rain 2. I was looking for a really active clan, a extremely active clan. And if you can tell by looking at the troops donated here and all of the people here, Jeff and Oi and Anna and everybody, look at their donations. This is an extremely, extremely active clan. And when I joined, I was... A very, very fresh Town Hall 8. They actually shouldn't have uh, accepted me. I was actually too low of a level to join. I believe they were Town Hall 9 minimum then. They might still be now. There's the clan rules. And yes, we really do miss He Honda. He Honda is a legend, you guys. He is actually the person that taught me. Him and Dr. McSarcasm. Where's his name at? Dr. McSarcasm. Where is he at? There he is. DRMCS right there. He is the, those two are the leading influences on how I just learned how to farm on this game. They taught me from the ground up, really. I mean, I didn't really know much when I joined, and they taught me, and I've gotten, I've gotten pretty good at it. I, I mean, I've gotten pretty good at it. Can I show you my profile here? Oh, my finger got in the way. Look at that. I have over 1 billion. I'm a 1 billionaire. I'm a billionaire on Clash of Clans now, and it's because of those guys. And when I joined this clan, he Honda was already almost a billionaire. If that puts into perspective how good he Honda is. But let's get into this chat. Everybody's going crazy. Hi, Tar Hill. Hi, AKU. Hi, Damon. But you're not saying hi. You're asking for troops. So we'll give you a bunch of miners because I can. But. That being said, they taught me how to play to be a farmer. And then I met a person by the name of Ian Bowie. And that was his in-game name. I'm not sure. He changed his name to Skullduggery at some point. I know you guys saw him quite a bit in the early beginning parts of this series because Ian is actually the person that taught me how to use hog riders. He taught me how to raid. So they taught me how to farm. And then Ian taught me how to raid. And I was getting pretty good. And so I decided I wanted to finally share one of my attacks with one of the Sisters Clan because some of you guys may or may not know, but Bringers of Rain actually has four different clans, or actually five, six now. Six now. They are a, a massive family of clans, and they're all really, really good. Really, really good clans. Really good high level clans, mid level clans. Whatever you could dream of, they got it. And, uh, oh, that one's not part of them, but Bringers of Rain, Bringers of Rain 2, 4, 3, and then they have Bringing It Later, and they have Bringing the Chaos, and um, all sorts of clans, but they taught me how, and I wanted to show one of my attacks to one of the other clans, so I posted it onto YouTube with a little bit of music. I think it was really janky. It was my very first video, if you guys want to watch it. It was called, like, uh, it, was, it was a golem... <laughs> It was kind of like a golem. It was actually a Gova Ho, but I think I called it Gova Loon or something like that. I mistitled it, and it was just a really, really bad video. It was a really good attack. Don't get me wrong. It was really, really good attack. Solid attack. Super awesome three-star. 
But, really bad video. Then my next video, I wanted to show off my Town Hall 8 base that I had made. And that base was epic, you guys. It was so hard to 3-star. I didn't get 3-star the entire time I was a Town Hall 8. Not by another Town Hall 8, anyway. Town Hall 9s, of course, could 3-star, but... They struggled a little bit. They struggled. But Town Hall 8s couldn't touch it. It was an awesome base at the time. Now, I think with all the updates, it would get obliterated. But, really good base. And then I finally... I worked up the courage. And I and I finally made a commentary video. And that was hard for me. Which was surprising because I'm not normally a very shy guy. And we're going to dr drop it in and we're going to say, Say hi to YouTube, oi. Oh, jeez. Not Garod. Garod Crovey. Say hi to YouTube, oi. Where are you at? Oh. Oi. Boom. And, uh, oi was actually here when I first joined, too. That was pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, so I finally worked up the courage, and I made myself a commentary video. And these guys, my core group of friends on this account, Jeff, oi, Anna... Hades. Hades especially. Hades is practically my brother now. I love Hades so much. Him and Beast and Ash and uh, Tar Hill, the mountain. The mountain left right after I joined, but he came back finally, so that's really, really cool. Uh, the Doctor, IA. IA has been the leader for like almost four years now, three or four years now. McLovin. And uh, we would we'd just stay up all night chatting, glass of water. Um... I mean, just all these guys, it's really cool to be back here just to visit them. I had a falling out with the main clan leader, and um, so I left. But I recently just decided to pop in for a visit and uh, so that we could have Oi say, Nice to have you back, Taco. It's nice to be here, Oi. But, so they were all just super supportive, and the video was bad. I watched the video recently. It was really, really, really bad. But they were very encouraging. They watched it, and... Uh, they gave me tips, or they would give me suggestions. Hey, Taco, try this attack next video. Hey, Taco, do this. Or, Taco, show us how to do this, you know? And I finally started getting better and better and better at the game and better at making videos, and they were so hype about it. And it was just really, really, really awesome. And uh, so I just wanted to stop in today and let these guys say hi to YouTube. And just to, just to give them the payback and give them... The recognition that they deserve because they really did. They made this channel happen. I mean, I wouldn't be doing this today if it wasn't for them. And so I got to thank them for that. And I really, really thank them for all the support early on. And even now, still throughout, there's still people from this clan that watch my videos and enjoy them and all that other stuff. And they've always been supportive from day one. And I really, really got to say thank you to those guys for that. But now... The taco has moved on. Well, kind of. I'm in <laughs> I'm in other clans now. I'm doing other things. And uh but I I I do I do think I'm going to have to come back more often and visit the Bringers of Rain too because I just love these guys. I mean, just being back. I've been here since last night and the nostalgia is so real, you guys. I can't get over it. It's really really awesome to be here. But that's going to do it for this section of the video. This is actually, I'm going to turn this into episode one of this and turn it into a series, maybe a three-part series, because this was a really long clip, and I didn't think it was going to be this long, but it is. But anyways, that's going to do it for part one. And uh, But just once again, thank you to the Bringers of Rain, all, all, all of the Bringers of Rain. Boars, one, two, three, four... And bringing it later, everybody that has been affiliated with, with this clan that I have met personally and that has helped me out and encouraged me, thank you. Even you, Jakers. Even you. <laughs> the bringers of rain know what I'm talking about. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks again, bringers of rain. I love you guys. That's going to do it. Thank you for watching this video. I have been Taco Mountain. You have been real. Thanks for watching. Welcome back, you guys. Welcome back to part two of the 100th episode of Extravaganza. Welcome back, you guys. And we're gonna we're gonna come in here, and I've been telling these guys to get ready, but we're gonna tell them say hi to YouTube. 
There we go. Let's hit him with an exclamation point and a what? What should we do? We'll go with a rock and roll. But all right, say hi to YouTube guys. <laughs> They're gonna hopefully explode the chat. That'll be really cool. But I wanted to continue my story, so I moved on from the Bringers of Rain, and now I am in the Pipe Layers LLC. Here we go. Let's go. Where is it at? LLC Clan LLC. But I actually didn't start with the Pipe Layers in LLC. I actually came over into Pipe Layers. Oh, keep that bookmark. What's wrong with you? I actually came over in where the heck? How do I find my bookmarks? I came over with, there it is, into Pipe Layers Inc., actually. And we're going to go through, and I'll scroll through their name. D's Nuts, Zonza, Brick, everybody. It's so, oh, to think about it. But yeah, so I left the Bringers of Rain. I had some issues with some of the people there. And um, so I left the Bringers of Rain. And I was really considering giving up the channel and just being done with YouTube as a whole, being done with this game. And, um... Then I came across the bringers or the pipe layers, and actually my dad is actually the person that taught me about this clan. He was like, he was telling me, Ro Roach, you got to come check out this clan. You got to come, come hang out with us and all that. And so I did. I came over and Fury saying hello to YouTube and Nacho Daddy and New Mom are both giddy to say hi to the YouTube. Happy 100th. That's right, Nacho. It's the 100th video. And I know I was talking about making this into a two-part series, but I think I'm just going to lump it into one giant video of awesome. Because I kind of want everybody to be in the 100th episode. But I left the Bringers of Rain, and I was considering giving up the channel. But the pipe players were excited. They wanted to be on YouTube too. And they wanted to show their attacks and to be able to watch the attacks and have fun with it. So I kept making the videos. And they also wanted me to show them a little, a thing or two that I learned over in the Bringers of Raid. So I showed them some pretty cool war attacks and some farming strategy and things of that nature. And I started up this second account so I could be cool and have two accounts. And uh, we're getting to that, Nacho. We're getting to that. And I wanted to... Uh, so I kept doing that. I kept making more videos and more videos and more videos. And the channel was actually growing. And that wasn't ever the purpose of my channel. I never really thought or gave effort towards making the channel grow. And to get subscribers and to get views and things like that. It's always just been a part of... Of the clan. That's all I've ever wanted was just for the clan and my friends to get to watch the video. And maybe I can make them laugh and maybe I can teach them something. And uh, so that's kind of where the direction of my channel came from. That's what I started out doing and that's what I enjoy doing. I still enjoy doing that to this day. It's one of my favorite things about YouTube. And uh, I also like, of course, I also like to see the uh, the views go up. And I like to see the, the likes and the comments. It's all really, really fun to me. But it was always about just getting to, getting to do something special but with me and my friends and my clanmates. And it's always been just something along those lines. And it's only been very, very recently that I've actually been pushing and trying to get more subscribers and to get likes and to get comments and things like that. But that's a whole other ball game. That's not where the channel developed from. And honestly, I haven't really been trying that hard to make the channel grow. I mean, I could do other things. I could post videos where I'm doing giveaways and things of that nature. I could pay for promotions where they shoot my video out to another extra thousand people or blah, blah, blah. It's just things of that nature that you can do. There are options available. I just haven't pursued them because it's just not really my thing. I kind of just was hoping that the people that watch my videos, they like my videos, and then they uh, subscribe. That's how it's been working. And that's kind of the direction I think I'm probably going to keep going. Maybe down the road eventually I'm going to do giveaways, but I'm probably not going to announce them. It's just, it's just going to be a, subs a surprise giveaway if I do do one. And uh, that's just kind of where I'm at with that. I'd rather just people just come across my videos and think, hey, that guy's making cool videos. I'm going to check that out. And that's kind of where I'm going to keep things. But I also wanted to touch on one more thing right now that I'm in Pipe Layers LLC. That is right. It is Jazzy's birthday. She is incredibly old now. I think she's like 19 or 20 maybe. But I heart Jazz, our high 
highest ranking member of the clan is actually using the same base as Taco Mountain because I stole it from her because it's awesome. But yeah, Jazzy Jazz. But, but yeah, so then I was in Pipe Layers Inc. and we went ahead and we decided, all right, Pipe Layers Inc. is doing really well. And if you didn't notice, Pipe Layers Inc. is actually kind of killing it. They're level 10 now. And uh, check out their Warlog. Check out their Warlog. They're on, a, they're on a bit of a loss streak, yeah. They're on, they, they, they've lost the last few wars. But 191 wins to 54 losses, I think that's pretty good. Now, that's actually pretty gnarly if you ask me as to what is our war log. So we've got 30, 30 losses and 83 wins, so we're not doing too bad. But we started out as the feeder clan for the Pipe Layers LLC, or for the Pipe Layers Inc. And we have been feeding them and... Uh, been helping people grow and we actually just kind of bounce back and forth whichever clan you want to be in but both clans are awesome if you guys want to join come check it out it'll be a really really good time just tell them hey i found you on youtube and i want to come play and i'll be like whoa this guy wants to come play but it's jazzy's birthday that's the important thing right now you guys we gotta sing happy birthday to jazzy happy birthday to you happy birthday to you Happy birthday, dear Jazzy. Happy birthday to you. I hope it was a good one, Jazzy. I, I am almost certain that's why you're not on right now. <laughs> you're out partying, celebrating your birthday. And before the video started, who was it? I think it was Industry. SS Industry wanted to know how to raid for gold. And the trick to that, Industry, is to use my current army. And uh, you'll make Mad Bank, bro. Look at... Look at those loots I've been getting. Look at that one. Personal best. Killing it. But that's what you do. You just use my army and you make Mad Bank, bro. For real. But yeah, Jazzy's birthday. Happy birthday, Jazz. And that's the last final thing I want to touch on in this section of the video is I'm going to keep doing these videos. I'm going to keep making videos as much and as often as I can. I love to make these videos. They're so much fun to do. It's so much fun to be playing Clash of Clans again. If some of you don't know, I took like a five-month break from videos, Clash of Clans, everything because of my job. And I'm finally starting to get back into the swing of things. And it's been a lot of fun. And I'm planning on making daily videos or almost daily videos if work allows it for as far as as, as long as the foreseeable future. I don't have any plans to change what I'm doing now. Now, I could also play other games. If you guys have another mobile game, I, I got to stress mobile. I don't have a capability to to record a console gameplay right now. But if you got another mobile game you want me to play, I'll play it. Just let me know and I'll check it out. As long as the game's fun, I'll play it. And uh, But yeah, you guys, let me... Let me know if you guys got any ideas that you guys want me to play that. And that is some decent dark loot. Nice shot, Nacho Daddy. But he is my dad. Think about that. Think about that. But anyways, guys, I would. Uh, we don't actually have a war. We're actually in prep day right now. So we'll come back um, probably, what's today? Today's Friday. So come back Sunday. And uh, there will be another pipe, lay in pipe episode, which is always fun. And hopefully I actually do good so I can record my attack and not just everybody else's. But anyways, guys, once again, thank you to the pipe layers. You brought me in and you guys have treated me like family ever since I've been here. And for that, I can't say thank you enough. And I hope that now that I'm playing consistently again, I can come back and learn how to play again and, uh, and really help you guys out as much as you've helped me. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this. Oh, the feels. Oh, the feels. Uh, that's going to do it for me, you guys. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. And uh, I've been Taco Mountain. You have been real. Thanks for watching. All right, guys. We are back for the third and final. I know this video is terribly long, but it's this is the final section of this 100th video explosion that's actually a way cool way to say it but we are going to say oh geez g say i to youtube boom
We're going to say hi to YouTube. I think I'm the only one on right now, but that's okay. We're going to go through, and we'll, we'll check this out. We'll go through this. But now, I don't know. Well, if you remember from the last episode, from episode two, or section two, rather, I'm going to upload this as a whole and as in three parts, so you can watch it however you want. I have finally decided upon that. But if you remember in the second section where I was talking about how I never really went out of my way and tried to get extra subscribers and this and that. Well, now I am. I, I do. I want to grow my channel and I want to see how big it can get. And I want to reach as many people as possible because it's actually really, really exciting uh, to see all those extra, see all those views come in and see the likes and the comments. It's, it's really, really exciting, really, really fun. And it's really, really motivating to, uh, to do, to do, to see that. And it really just motivates me and wants me to make more and more videos and to play the games more. You guys have no idea how excited I am to play on both of my Let's Play accounts. But I've been holding off and I've been pushing back because I did not want to play on those accounts unless I was recording. But I couldn't record because I was at work so I could play on those accounts and it was driving me crazy. It's all I've wanted to do and I'm going to. I'm actually going to go play on those accounts as soon as I'm done recording this video. It's way too exciting. <coughs> Excuse me. I almost died there. <coughs> Still dying. Almost died. Need a drink. Yeah, I know it doesn't seem like that long to you. It's only been two minutes, but I've been talking for like the last hour. So my throat is killing me, so I had to get me some sweet tea. Had to get some sweet tea. Now I'm feeling a little better. But, back to growing the channel. And, uh, that is part of why I joined this clan. And because, uh, these guys have just been crazy supportive. It's 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 insane how supportive these guys are. Everybody in this clan, from top to bottom. I'm going to scroll through their name. Lackluster, he's the one that actually brought me into this clan. It's crazy how supportive everybody is. Zutupu, you guys are... Uh, it's insane to me because normally if you hop into a clan or you get into a new clan or you're just in a global chat or wherever or this and that and you start talking about youtube everybody's kind of like just like oh yeah sure i'll check out your video whatever or they're kind of like shut up uh don't be promoting your stuff here blah 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 things like that things of that nature not here not in khaleesi's den in khaleesi's den if somebody says hey go check out my video they do people do they go and check out your video they watch it and they give you advice and they give you critiques and this and that and um they comment and they let you know what you're doing right and what you might be able to do better and they promote each other's channels i mean it's just that's just how it works here like i did that one uh, video it was like one big promotion to uh, lackluster when i did that tournament video and zutupo also has a channel his his channel name is zutupu and go check him out he's actually giving away a ca uh, camera yeah he's giving away a camera go check that out and um I think Meats has a Meats has a channel. Um, you guys will just have to go check it out. Just search their name; you'll be able to find their channel. It, it's pretty awesome. I I would put links in the description for all you guys, but that would just I can't be bothered. If I had a computer, I'd do it, but sorry, I love you still. <laughs> Let's go see if anybody said hi. Nobody says hi. Nobody's online right now. Everybody's gone to bed. It's too late, Taco. What are you doing? I should be in bed too because, well. It's too late. But yeah, I just wanted to stop in here for just a minute and give them a chance to say hi if they were on. But apparently, apparently not. Apparently they're all off. I think Levi has a channel too. I think Levi and uh, Ian the Great have a channels. But, uh, oh, just getting my scroll on. But yeah, these guys have all just been really, really supportive and uh, blah, blah, blah. And uh, Levi, have you subbed to him? See, I mean, this is like this. what I'm talking about. He's just making sure, checking to see if Levi's sub to this other guy. It's kind of funny like that. But everybody's just been super supportive. And uh, they actually have been teaching me how to play the game a little bit. They've been helping me out, show, showing cool replays and things like that. Helping you build an army, build a deck. And uh, so that's been really cool too. I know that a lot of you, <laughs> that some people that subscribe to me, I'm talking to you, Jazzy. Don't like Clash Royale at all, but it's still a really fun game to me. I enjoy it, and it's pretty fun to make videos for, too. So I plan on doing that some more, too. 
sorry, Jazzy. You need to learn to like the game. You just do. You need to learn to like it because it's super awesome and everybody knows it. But <laughs> anyways, guys, come check out Khaleesi's Den. We actually have a feeder clan. What was that? We actually have a feeder clan, but I can't, can't for the life of me. I'm drawing a blank. I can't remember what it's called, but it's Khaleesi something. It's Khaleesi something. It has a something. Khal oh, oh got to move my face. Khaleesi's nest, I think. Is it Khaleesi's nest? Where is it at? I can't remember. I'm pretty sure that's the name of the extra clan, the feeder clan. Khaleesi's den is there. I'm pretty sure it's called Khaleesi's nest. I could be wrong. I guess I am wrong. I can't remember. Why can't I remember? Well, if you need to, if you're really curious and you want to join the feeder, and the great's coming in clutch saying hi to YouTube, then go check out Lackluster Gaming. Go check him out on YouTube. The, uh, he'll have uh, all the information on that on like every video he ever makes ever in the history of ever. <laughs> so you can't miss it. You'll definitely find out the name of that clan. Just go check him out. And he also is doing giveaways as well. He's getting ready to give away. Uh, some gift cards, I think, or he's planning to in the near future to give away some gift cards. So that's kind of cool. And not to mention, we also have people that host uh, the tournaments. If you guys are interested in that as well, we actually will host tournaments and uh, give shout outs to the people that are hosting them. So that's kind of cool too, if you guys are interested in something like that. But anyways, guys, I have rambled on way too long. So let's wrap this video up in the very, very next clip. All right, guys, we'll be back. I love you. Taco Mountain, you've been real. All right, guys, we are back in my new home of the Pipe Layers LLC. And we have some, oh, I think those are the same happy birthdays to the Jazzy. Happy birthday again, Jazzy. I sang to you. I sang to you in my first face cam video. Yeah, I think that's worth a like, Jazzy. I think that's worth one like from you. And uh, let's go down here just a little bit more. Now, this is the very last uh, segment of this video. I know it's been crazy long, and I'm actually going to post this video separate from the rest of the video, and it's actually going to be the too long didn't read section <laughs> of the rest of the video. If you guys don't want to sit there and listen to me ramble on for a half hour, which I quite personally couldn't blame you, a half hour <laughs> is a long time to watch any video, but this is going to be the TLDR version of what I just said. I, I joined Bringers of Rain as a Town Hall 8, grew up, learned how to farm, got taught by Dr. McSarcasm, Hades, He Honda, McLovin, everybody there, glass of water, um, inexact, <laughs> inexact assassin, they all kind of analude, uh, taught me how to farm, Ian Bowie, you were the king, you taught me how to war, and um, all that, and Every single person in Bringers of Rain that I knew there was always so encouraging and helpful and they encouraged me to make these videos and they all enjoy, seem to enjoy them or they're really good liars. <laughs> Either way, I appreciate it. Thank you all to the Bringers of Rain. Pipe Layers Inc., I joined you as soon as I left the Bringers of Rain because of Nacho Daddy here because he wanted me to come be in his clan with him. So I came and checked it out, had a really great time in Inc., we kicked everybody's butt in war. Finally, we decided we were getting too big. Made the feeder clan. Boom. Here we are now. Boom. Just like that. And then on my Clash Royale side of the things, I joined Khaleesi's Den. Because that's basically a giant clan full of YouTubers and we all help each other out. And they're kind of teaching me some things and I'm kind of teaching them some things. And we're all growing together and it's awesome and cohesive and I love it. But... Now, Aztec KOA is getting to say hi to YouTube. Hi, Aztec. Aztec, make sure you tell Aztec Princess and Aztec Warrior to watch this video. And that if they pull off a three-star in the next war, they're both getting in the video. Boom. That just happened. And the birthday girl herself, I Heart Jazzy, is coming in with hi, YouTube. And thanks for the birthday wishes, guys. It's 5.20 p.m. I haven't eaten all day. But I'm about to have some Thai food. Boom. Do it up. Get your tie on. Jazzy. And I hope you have a terrific birthday. Aztec KOA asks. Taco. 
I'm about to turn it to a Town Hall 10. What should I upgrade first and why? Now, if I was just turning Town Hall 10 again, when I turned Town Hall 10, the first thing I did was buy the Inferno Towers, the new Expo, and uh, leveled up my clan castle. And I think that's all I did first. But I suggest you do things a little differently than I did. I wouldn't touch any of the new defenses. I wouldn't upgrade a single defensive tower, Aztec. Not one thing. Not not a thing. Not even the traps. I would go offensive. Upgrade your lab. Upgrade both your spell factories. Upgrade uh, your army camps. Yeah, I know you get another army camp upgrade. Upgrade your army camps. Upgrade your spells. Your CC. And once you get all those upgraded and you can start grinding your troops out, the first troop I had to upgrade is probably... Now, some people are probably going to roast me on this but i would say the first troop to level up you can get max vox at town hall nine can't you you can do that now that's a thing what would i level up first i think giants i think the giant is probably the first troop that you need to upgrade because it's just so versatile you could use it for everything but yeah stick away from a uh, defense upgrade only offense don't even think about buying your town hall uh 10 defenses until you have at least got a few max troops. Get your max P.E.K.K.A. Get your max Golem. Wait, can you get max Golem at Town Hall 9? I can't remember. Actually, I actually have a th an idea. Let's check his profile. We can see what max troops. Oh, yeah. You want to max out your uh, Lava Hound. You want to max out your P.E.K.K.A. You want to max out your Golem and, uh, and your Wizards. Get those troops maxed out, and then once you get those four troops maxed out, then go ahead and uh, start upgrading defense. But I wouldn't touch defense until then, because let me tell you what's going to happen. As soon as you buy that Inferno Towers and that extra Expo, your whole matchmaking is going to be thrown off, and it's going to put you up against Town Hall 10s with those defenses, and with those defenses as a town hall as an early town hall 10 you're basically still a late town hall 9 as far as your offense goes so you're going to really struggle and you're going to have a hard hard time farming so i'd say get some troops leveled up get your offense maxed out as quickly as possible get your spells your army camps and your cc at the very least get those maxed out and then you can start pushing on to uh you can start pushing on to starting your defense but really, that's the best advice I think I could give any new Town Hall 10. Now, uh, Taco or Papa Roach is asking, uh, Taco, is leaving my def at Town Hall 7 level and being a new Town Hall 9 a good thing for war? No massage, Javi? Sucks. No one got you a cake. Damn it. Damn it. Somebody buy Jazzy a stinking cake. I might have to do my first giveaway right now. I might have to call. I might have to get a hold of Jazzy. And give her a gift card number so she can go get a damn cake. Everybody deserves a cake on their birthday. Jazzy. No. No. That is horrible. I am devastated for you. That is horrible. But back to Papa's question. Sorry, I was just broken right there. I'm going to answer your question right now, Papa. Is leaving your defense at a Town Hall 7 level and being a new Town Hall 9 a good thing for war? Yes and no. It can be or it can't be. And I'll explain that. Now, the thing about that, Mr. Papa, is check out Queso. That's exactly what Queso is. Are you, are you calling me out? Basically, Queso is Town Hall 7 defense. It does have Town Hall 9 walls and... Town Hall 9. Uh, well, I have all four Tesla, but I still need to upgrade those. Not sure if I'm going to, but I think I probably will. Because I actually am planning on upgrading all my traps. But I do have the, the walls purchased. I still need to upgrade them all. But that's going to be really fun to do. But to answer your question, yes and no. Yes, if you're a decent attacker. If you know how to attack, go ahead. Do it. Level up to Town Hall 9. Get your troops. Get the... That's the important thing. You got to max out your troops at every town hall level. 
But if you do that, check me out. I'm 16, and I'm actually below Town Hall 8s. Now, let me throw this theory at you. A Town Hall 8 is almost... It's guaranteed. It's going to get 3 starred in any real war. That's a fact. It's going to happen. Town Hall 9s, it's a little iffy. But I'm ranked as a Town Hall 8. So as a Town Hall 8, I can expect that I'm getting 3 starred no matter what I do. All you people, Dragon Slayer, Papa... Pac-Man, Dark Treyu, Little Dinky, you're all getting three-starred this war. And there's nothing you can do about it. You're probably going to get three-starred on the first attack. If you're lucky and they screw up in your CC clutches, you're going to get maybe uh, maybe two-starred for the first hit, but you'll get three-starred right after that. That's just how it works. But let's see that. See, I am now f- four under the top Town Hall 8. Now let's go check out this side. Now they're, they're top... Town Hall 8 is 14, 2 below. They have 2 Town Hall 9s on us. But let's scout Preston here. Now look at his defense. I know for a fact I can 3-star this base. There is zero question in my mind that on this account I can 3-star this base. And let's check 13. Oh, I definitely can. I am going to 3-star this base. You're going to see that in the next next video. And if I choke, you might not see that in the next video. You might not. <laughs> But this next base here, I can most likely three-star this base as well. And uh, every base below that, obviously. So, yes and no. Yes, if you're a good attacker, you can pull six stars and you can attack way higher than your mirror. No, because if you suck, you're giving away three stars and you're not gaining anything back. So, if you manage to upgrade your troops and you're a good attacker, it's very, very useful for war. Now, if this was your main account, I wouldn't do it. Level up your main account like you're supposed to. Like SS Fury here. Let's Wait, don't make me a liar, Fury. You better have a good base. But yeah, like SS Fury here. Max it out. Level up your defense. Level up your offense. Level everything up. Just have fun with your main account. If you're going to make a second account, though, I do highly recommend making an account similar to what I have with Queso here. Very similar. Just get to like Town Hall 7. I went to Town Hall 7 defense just to make things a little funner. And so that I could reach a specific ranking and uh, in here because I really wanted to be a Town Hall 8 because I love Town Hall 8 Wars. It's so much fun. <coughs> but I also wanted my Archer Queen in to be a beast. So that's why I went ahead and pushed to Town Hall 9. And I wanted more walls because I love wall grinding. Yeah, it's weird, but I love it. And the Maverick is getting to say hi. Hi, Mav. How you doing, buddy? And uh, so, yeah, to answer your question, yes, it can be. No, it can't be. There you go. There you go. And to Aztec KOA, carne asada or ceviche? I'm going to go carne asada. I'm going carne asada. Papa was right. Papa was absolutely right. But anyways, guys, my too long didn't read went longer than the rest of the other clips. Jeez, shut up, taco. But anyways, guys, that is going to do it. I really, really hope that you've enjoyed the 100 subscriber explosion or the 100 video explosion we already hit 100 subscribers we're pushing to two that's right guys so if you're still watching at this late in the video do me a favor hit that like button and do me another favor in the car in the comment section below happy birthday jazzy i want to see it if you're still watching this video now happy birthday jazzy any other comment if it says nice vid I won't believe that you watched the whole video. I'm not going to believe it. Just won't. So leave that in the comments section below. Once again, thank you to Bringers of Rain. Thank you to the Pipe Layers Link, Inc. LLC. And thank you to Khaleesi's Den. And to thank you, all of you viewers. I know this hasn't been my typical video. We're going to go back to recording wars and to recording attacks on the Let's Play accounts. It's tomorrow. As soon as tomorrow, I'll be posting the next video as long as work works out i should be posting the next video if i have to i'll just record replays but we're getting back into the regular things tomorrow i just wanted to kind of sit down and have a chat with you guys today and i know it's been an exceptionally long chat but remember happy birthday jazzy and uh let me know about the face cam let me know if you guys like that if you guys are into that face cam action on this let me know and i'll keep doing it but anyway guys I have been Taco Mountain. That's my alarm clock. I just hit it with my elbow. I have been Taco Mountain.